No, seriously, what do these people keep doing with fish? Like, why do they keep having to make laws to stop them from messing with fish? What does suspicious circumstances even mean anyways? Welcome to another edition of Get Fact, the show where we pick a topic and jam as many facts about that topic into five minutes as we can. Today's topic is the law. Well, specifically, weird and strange laws that we've had throughout the history of mankind and some that are currently in practice today. Well, let's get right... What? Oh yeah. Uh, also, don't forget to count how many times Francis the Fact Ferret shows up. Because that doesn't matter at all. Piece of shit, ferret. Here are some of the most bizarre and strange laws from ancient time. Let's start in medieval England. At one point, there was a decree against wearing dead herring as clothing, as if the British need something else to make them less attractive. Also from medieval England, something called the Scold's Bridal, a form of punishment for women considered to be too outspoken or nagging. Well, maybe she wouldn't have to nag if you weren't wearing dead fish as clothes. In ancient Rome, fathers had the right to sell their children into slavery not just once, but twice. However, three times was illegal. I mean, to be fair, if two different buyers return the same item unsatisfied, you probably shouldn't be able to sell it a third time. Also in ancient Italy at one point it was a legal requirement to smile at all times, except during funerals or hospital visits. Maybe stop selling your children into slavery and the, they, they would frown less. What? You're not a slave. You're a fictional ferret. Get out of here. During the Byzantine Empire, Emperor Justinian declared that orphans were not allowed to be taught how to read using beans. You know, I've been thinking about this for a few days now, and for the life of me, I cannot imagine how you would teach someone how to read using beans. Draw the letters with beans? Or did, did the different beans have different words? Well, I think Lama do myself a fava on this one and give up soon. <laughs> In ancient Egypt, it was decreed that all images of pharaohs must depict them with a beard. Even if the pharaoh was a female, a fake beard was included. For whatever reason, my Aunt Janice became pharaoh of Egypt. You would not have to include any fake beards. All natural for that gal. In ancient China, during certain dynasties, the law mandated that people had to greet each other by sticking out their tongues. It was a sign of respect and greeting. And finally, in ancient Babylon, you could legally remove a builder's hands if the house they built collapsed and caused fatalities. That one actually kind of seems pretty reasonable. Here are some very recent bizarre laws and some that are still on the books today. The Salmon Act of 1986 in the UK. This act included a section making it illegal to handle salmon in suspicious circumstances. Seriously, what's the deal with you Brits and fish? I know you live on an island and it rains a lot and you're inside drinking heavily, lonely. All right. I get it. In Switzerland, it's currently illegal to flush the toilet after 10 p.m. in apartment buildings as it's considered noise pollution. Wouldn't not flushing just be air pollution? Ah, don't worry about it though. I hear their flag's a big plus. <laughs> In Oklahoma, it's currently illegal to make ugly faces at dogs. Violators will be fined or jailed. What if it's just your face? What if, you, what if your, your, your face is just ugly? I'm asking, asking for a friend. In Australia, until recently, it was illegal to possess more than 110 pounds of potatoes, unless you were a registered potato grower or dealer. I can't even visualize what a 100 pound bag of potatoes looks like. No, I'm just look in the mirror. Yeah, hey, f you, Francis. In Kentucky, a law requires every citizen to take a bath at least once a year. Nothing says our state rocks like legally mandated hygiene. In some parts of Switzerland, it's currently illegal to hike naked. Nothing says I'm one with nature more than picking burrs out of your furry bits. And finally, in the small town of Tuz in Poland, Winnie the Pooh is banned at public playgrounds because of his lack of pants and unclear gender. I'm not really sure how much the gender of a fictional bear matters, but pants do. Pants matter at a playground. Trust me. And now a list of things that aren't against the law that should be. Children's beauty pageants, music volume on Netflix shows, people who FaceTime in public, uncancelable phone and gym contracts, prescription drug ads, not giving the merge thank you wave, subscription software, nutrition labels that aren't for the entire container of food, lobbying, leaving pee on the toilet seat, salaries not listed in job descriptions, standing too close to people, NDAs, clipping puppy ears and tails, really bright headlights, and ferrets. Well, that's all the getting fact for this week. Please comment what topic you want us to cover next time. And don't forget to subscribe. As you can see, we need the help. That is all. Yeah, yeah, yeah.